Hi guys, welcome to this week's Crypto Chiefs YouTube video. Before we begin the video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will pin two links in the comment section below, one to our free Telegram group where you can receive free daily market updates, and also a link to our website where you can check out all of the results from the trades taken in our premium group. So in today's video, um, I wanted to take a look at Bitcoin and just the market overall as we close out the month of May and head into June. So first of all, looking here at the Bitcoin monthly chart, we can see that very likely we are going to get um, the first red candle, first red monthly candle of 2023 after four consecutive green months, unless we see around a 10% move up in the final few days of the month, then we will be closing this month red. And if we go into the uh, daily chart to take a little closer look, we can see really that other than the first few days of May, we've kind of slowly been bleeding out into this sideways consolidation period. Now in the premium group, we actually found that the uh, probably during this bleed was actually our, some of our best trading conditions. We managed to ca catch a lot of uh, a lot of bounces, but just the last few days we have really been just chopping about in this range. Now we can see that we're in a descending channel really from the um, highs there in April. If I draw the, the trend line support through there like that. And we can see yeah, in the daily we are just moving around in this range in the last few days, just chopping about towards the bottom, no real bounce. Now there's still this area that I've been going on about for such a long time, the mid 2025K region where we have this big breakout um, on, on the daily chart which was resistant so many times such a key uh, a key level but after the breakout it's still not been back tested yet so what I'm really looking to happen is um, at some point still a move into this area um, whether we sort of wicked below and close back within this range before moving back up um, in this channel but I'm, I'm I'm sure that you know in the coming days or the coming weeks this still has to be tested at at some point but you know the last few days it has been more difficult trading conditions we're really in like a three percent range um, each daily candle closed has been yes yeah, sort or of three and a half percent for around sort of 10 or 11 days now if we look at the total two this is a chart that i've shown many times as well and really we have closed we did close one day below this key support trend line which has been running right since new year's day um, but potential, it was just deviation as we did close yesterday. Well, you could say pretty much on the trend line. So the next couple of days are really key for this. If we do regain this strongly and move up, this is a good sign for altcoins. And this will just be some deviation. But if we do start to break down further, I think we're going to see, uh, well, we will see a, a much bigger pullback across um, altcoins in particular. To coincide with that, I've still got my eyes on the USDT chart here, uh, dominance, USDT dominance. And after trading within this sort of daily range, we did break above it. And we can see we've had quite a clean back test of this on the daily where we're just sort of holding this support at the moment. If we do get a push up from here, up towards testing these highs that we saw in March, uh, this is what I think we'll see the breakdown in total two and see that I have much lower on altcoins and potentially this retest that I've mentioned here for Bitcoin as well. Now looking at some key dates as we head into June, we have got the right at the start. So next Friday, the 2nd of June, we have the non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate. But all eyes will be on Tuesday the 13th of June where we get the uh, CPI reading for May. And the next day, straight after that, we have the Fed interest rate decision. And whilst we talk of the interest rate decision, we saw quite a, a switch in um, momentum in, or in terms of what term pe people are going to be thinking about the next rate rise. So as we can see that since the last rate decision, most of the market has been predicting a freeze. 82% have been predicting a rate freeze in June. Um, which will be the sort of the next stage of the Fed pivot. This changed yesterday or over the last week, uh, but, but more so yesterday. And we now see 65% of people are the other way and think that we are going to get another 
25 BPS rise in June. Um, so this will be critical. Although the mar market is pricing this in, I think if this does happen, it'll be it'll be bearish for the market because um, so many people for a number of months now have been expecting that um, June would be the, the freeze. Hope you found this video useful, guys. It just gives you some things to keep an eye on as we head into June. And I will see you on the next video.